My DVD, one Blade Runner, director's cut, coming right up. Sweet. So, noch Five alles, bucks, right? Das Internet nicht wollte. Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life of a real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Okay. Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah. I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Hey, spiel mal mit, ist doch wurscht. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In other words, Chloe, Chloe Price. Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you and greet you. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. <laughs> Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? It says right Spring here that me. I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that elf barbarian. I did. Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? The... We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Uh, yeah, then get my some training loot ground. sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy-set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. 
You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavyset orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Oh, fuck. I have cut out. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon. Nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? You don't get Martin's prison Guess camp. it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and, in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Pick the lock. Pick the lock. It says here I can pick locks. Can I do that? Sure. You spend a long time trying to pick the lock, but don't accomplish anything. The dragonkin makes an obscene gesture at what you can only assume are his genitals. Shit! <laughs> oh well. Yeah, shalom. Apparently, I have bread. I try to tempt the little bastard out with it. He sticks out his tongue, finding your offering disgusting. Ugh. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Yes, it's really can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. I sort of Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgeron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. This is all he's meant. Dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. 
That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin oh, as know. hands tremble. It hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Not a, it's oh, tent it's time. time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows, ha 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 Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. <laughs> you <laughs> are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Oh, da 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 da. Neman, Naya Strike, Rush. Yeah, Neman Strike. Oh, holy shit! Uh, Annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? Oops. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump, in I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, Hope lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, hey I chopped me? your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his head, or? I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. 
That was fun. Check out what I drew. Maggie's got serious drawing skills. No, shit. Sorry, I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. And this had really fast 20 minutes. DVD, about. check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Check. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours! Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Yes, the the only sorry. way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off. As in, go away. No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. <laughs> You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea ha, how crazy I am. Verstanden. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? I don't want a piece of that. I just want us all to get along. Preferably without ever interacting. Do you really think I'm gonna let you talk to me like that? Yeah, I probably should. If you were going to throw down, you would have already. This clown show is over. <laughs> did you just laugh? I Have did. Just won, Chloe just owned you. Shut cool. the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Ooh, go Boom. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Yeah, Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? That is You're welcome. Are you Antichristus. all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. This is the right? Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Ja, okay. 
Was Mama, ich bin in der Schule, wieso schickst du mir jetzt was? Ist ja unglaublich. Ja und? Okay. Look. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Ich will doch bitte nur irgendwo ein Graffiti hinmalen. Look what's else? Vielleicht kann Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future. Der nächste. Oh, good. You're here. Aha. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Oh my god. Ich the question Ahnung, is... So are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Why should I know what's in her face? Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive, is well taken. So? Thanks, Can Mr. Keaton. <laughs> See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Yeah. Don't say any stupid yeah. shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Maybe. So, I'm going to break point, damit ich's. Speichern kann das Video.